Hello, my name is Dylan Mace. I'm the administrator of the Utah Public Notice website and the Open Records Portal here at the Utah State Archive. Today, we're going to do a quick walkthrough on the new Utah Public Notice website. When you first come to the website, it looks this way. It shows meetings and events around me, and it shows the old style government type entity public body list. It also shows search function so that people can look for meetings, entities, bodies near them, very useful. It also has the about the Utah Public Notice website section. This is really useful for explaining the differences between bodies, public notices, public meetings, public hearings, public information, and just giving the legal background for the Utah Public Notice website. It also provides a link for training. There's a help section. How can I look up a public notice? What is the difference between the browse and advanced search features? What do, what do government type, entity, and body mean? Is the address for the body the meeting or hearing location address? What bodies are required to post their notices on the Utah Public Notice website? What public information is required to be posted on the Utah Public Notice website? Who can post notices to the Utah Public Notice website? And if you have difficulties, who you can contact, utah.gov support, and also you can contact me, Dylan Mace, at upnw at utah.gov. My phone number is 801-531-3853. However, if you're having an issue, it's often useful for me to have a screenshot so I can see exactly what you're talking about. So I do recommend the email. Also, um, other information on this section. After finding the entity name that I'm looking for, I click on the name, but nothing happens. Where are the search results? How can I download Adobe PDF Reader? How do I subscribe to a body? And how do I provide feedback? You can also provide feedback through this button here. So if you or a member of the public wants to provide feedback, we are welcome to that. As a Utah Public Notice website owner or poster, this is the most important button for you right here, the admin button. As with all of Utah State websites, you need to log in. And give me just a second while I get my code. Play a little intermission music. Here we are. It is 577-574. OK, now we are on the Owners and Posters Utah Public Notice website. If we click on the Dashboard button here, it's taking a minute to load. But in just a second, we have a list of all of our notices that have been published for our body. So you've got the published, the drafts, and the canceled. You can come in here and edit the edit button. Can also add a notice with the add a notice button. This is a new uh, development. I think that this is pretty useful. It only shows you the things that you are registered for. So I'm set up for a state agency. I'm set up for the Department of Government Operations. And I am set up for this is a test public body. So after you've chosen your government type entity, and public body, 
you can scroll down. If it's an emergency notice, you click that box, you give it a title, choose the subject. That should be changed soon. It's going to be just a free text box here, so you can choose your subject rather than scrolling through all of those. And then you choose whether it's a notice, a meeting, a hearing, or a bond. Pick the start date and time, the event end date and time, and the deadline. Put in your agenda. Usually, I strongly recommend typing that up beforehand and then cutting and pasting into there. You can put in your special accommodations and your notice of electronic or telephone participation. Here is a new feature that I really like. Email a copy of notice to. You can put in, copy, uh, put in people's emails here, and it will send an email notification to those people when this is published. And then other information, uh, if you just have other things that need to go on there, it's kind of a free box. It's got your address. The audio file, I really like this. If you post your meetings, uh, recordings of your meetings to a website, to a YouTube channel, you don't actually need to upload that to the public notice website. You just need to provide a link to it here. So go ahead, cut and paste the link to the web, the YouTube or whatever it's on your uh, website there. You're good to go. Here is a list of the file attachment types that you can upload. It's very much like the previous system. Click Browse, pops up a list of your records. You pick what one you want there, and then you attach it. You can then publish, publish and create a new in case you're creating a bunch of meetings. Say it's the beginning of January, you're supplying all of the uh, following year's meetings on here. You can just publish and create new until you're done with that. You can preview it, save it as a draft, or cancel it. You can search and edit notices. This is uh, pretty similar to the dashboard. And then you've got drafts and published. Uh, the thing that I think is the biggest change is actually right here. This is the user management button. This brings you to this brand new site here. This is where to view or edit your contacts, add or edit entities, public bodies, posters. You can go to the Open Records portal or the public notice website here. Take your certification test. I think this is actually not quite live yet, but it will be. Uh, add yourself to a new entity or look up an appointed records officer. So say you need to add or edit posters, click on this button here, and it brings you over here, shows the bodies that are available for you to add to. Click on View Users, Add Poster, you just need to put in the first name, last name, email address, and phone number. Click Add Contact, and they're good to go. I really like that feature. I think it's going to be super useful. You can also add your own role, but I get to say yes or no on that. So you can't just be a member of the public who is uh, going crazy and deciding that you're going to post for a body. It has to be okayed before that goes ahead. So anyway, we've also got the quick guide and the comprehensive manual here on the left-hand side. These are quite similar to the previous manuals for the previous website. I thought those were really solid manuals. And so um, for instance, if I wasn't clear on anything, you need some more details, just pop over here, 
and it gives you an in-depth description on how to do everything you might need to do in the website. So if you have any questions, uh, go ahead and reach out to me. I'll be happy to help you out, and I hope that this is useful for you. Thank you.